after him, someone to love him, and I wanted to be that person. I wanted to protect him. How to Get Away with Murder highlighted subjects ranging from alcoholism, gay marriage, HIV, and conspiracy in the legislative arm. Being one of the most mysterious, suspense-driven legal thrillers is not an easy feat. The murder mysteries that tested the characters' morals have drawn to a twisty close, and the audience who followed the political thriller scandal seems to have not gotten enough of it. There's no doubt that this murder mystery series has made a lasting impact on primetime television, almost as though being exclusive masterminds intertwined in a murder plot was limited. How to Get Away with Murder casts build for themselves a legacy, leaving behind awestruck fans as the series ends. It's no secret that the success of the TV show is mostly due to its incredible cast. In this video, we'll be catching up with the cast and exploring where to see them next. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Viola Davis, Annalise Keating. Annalise is the powerhouse of how to get away with murder. Playing intriguing and groundbreaking roles, Viola Davis's professional life has been devoted to her being outstanding. As her credit attests, Viola Davis has shot to the top of the acting world, being in constant demand for a wide variety of roles. From the humble beginning of her voice role in 2001's Ocean Eleven, to her upcoming movie, Suicide Squad, which debuted in 2021. Davis's work in movies has been impressive. We'll miss seeing Annalise Keating killing it in How to Get Away with Murder, but the Oscar-winning actress will reprise her role as Amanda Waller. Amanda, the ruthless government agent, first brought the team of villains together in Suicide Squad in the 2016 comic book movie. Since Amanda Waller is an indispensable character of the squad, it seems fitting in the eyes of many comic fans that Viola Davis takes up that character. Jack Valahy, Connor Walsh. Fitting the role of the sexy law student, Connor Walsh always shows off his espionage and allegiance. Connor's unquestionable loyalty prompts him to do anything for his professor, no matter how shifty the deed may be. Jack Valahy is another multi-talented actor who we can't imagine the How to Get Away with Murder series without as one of the main characters portraying the role of the ruthless Connor Walsh. As soon as How to Get Away with Murder aired, Jack Valahy quickly established himself as a highly sought after young actor and became the center of journalists' attention. Making his television debut in 2013, Jack had roles from an assortment of independent films. If you're dying to see more of Jack, he also plays Frank Stringfellow, a Confederate soldier scout during the Civil War, in Downton Abbey. An adaptation of Julian Fellow's drama, Downton Abbey, is a hugely successful film as fans are asking for a sequel in the pipeline. We love watching reruns of Downton Abbey. Since all familiar faces would reprise their roles, we can't help but hope to catch a glimpse of Frank Stringfellow one last time. Aja Naomi King, Michaela Pratt. In the television series How to Get Away with Murder, Aja Naomi King stars as Michaela, the Hermione Granger of the Keating Five. This overachiever works for the brilliant criminal defense lawyer Annalise Keating. King on several occasions ruled the Academy Awards, stealing the show as one of the best dressed celebrities. King won millions of hearts with impressive performances and versatile roles across the film industry. As you can imagine, this work of art with a phenomenal body and charisma landing her a role as the L'Oreal Paris spokeswoman, a cosmetic brand for skincare products, makeup, perfume, and hair, the How to Get Away with Murder star fronts the campaign for its L'Oreal Paris upcoming collection on her social media platforms. Liza Wheel, Bonnie Winterbottom. No one can rock a pixie cut like Liza Wheel. In How to Get Away with Murder, Liza Wheel makes a grand statement as a character with her intense, erudite look and confident attitude. Fans dying to see more of Liza can opt for her upcoming show, Women is Losers. This is the life story of a Latin teen, Selena, who faces the hurdles of being a young single mother of color in a patriarchal environment. Minerva, Liza Wheel, a heartbroken but bold woman, despite her world-weary experiences, demonstrates what a healthy relationship between women looks like. If Minerva and Selena were to overcome any hurdles, it was best achieved together. Liza Wheel is widely regarded for her role as Paris Geller on The Gilmore Girls and the hit ABC series, How to Get Away with Murder, 
murder, is ready to make an awestruck appearance in the feminist indie drama. Carla Souza, Laurel Castillo. Carla is a lovely actor who plays Laurel, a passionate student with hidden talents. The gorgeous Mexican actress landed herself a spectacular role in the female-centric comedy like it used to be. The nerve-calming comedy is the reason the big global health situation feels like breaths of fresh air. Dedicated to stories about friendship, courage, forgiveness, and Latinx experience, Like It Used to Be is a road trip comedy featuring four female best friends going for a final road trip to Mexico. Everything seems perfect until one of the best friends finds out life-changing news. Based on Bernardo Cabrilla's screenplay, Like It Used to Be, the project is produced by Jolene Rodriguez, president of Broken English Productions, alongside Rodriguez's production company, I Can and I Will. The project from Broken English Productions was created to uplift the Mexican community. Carla Souza couldn't be happier to work with the other talented women. Conrad Ricamora, Oliver Thompson. Remember the beloved Oliver Thompson whom we spent six years falling in love with? We were all crushed when the series ended as we wouldn't be able to see his beautiful face on the show anymore. The wonderful news is the upcoming fourth season of The Resident that is getting ready for its big return. Conrad Ricamora's debut in Fox's hit medical drama will recur the exclusive role of Dr. Jake Wong, a handsome gay plastic surgeon and a songwriter in his off hours. The much anticipated show will debut on January 12th, 2021. One may wonder what this TV show is about. The plot of the series broadens on personal and professional challenges faced by doctors daily. The best part is the premiere episode will also feature a special event. In anticipation to catch up with the charming Conrad, we can only keep our fingers crossed. Billy Brown, Nate LaHaye. He did prominent work on the blockbuster Dexter, which earned a SAG Award nomination for outstanding performance. In 2011, the Los Angeles Times included Billy Brown on the ones to watch list. And listed in the cast of the esteemed Shonda Rhimes produced crime drama, How to Get Away with Murder, the multi-talented actor lends his strong presence to the character of Detective Nate LaHaye. The audience who deeply missed the charms of the adulterous lover can watch out for him in NCIS, a police procedural series of special agents that solve intense criminal cases. According to CBS, NCIS will be back with fresh episodes starting January 19th, 2021. Amira Vaughn, Tegan Price. How to Get Away with Murder is everything you love in one show. Amira Vaughn has become a fan favorite as Legal Eagle, Tegan Price. After long years of casting on the show, Amira Vaughn scored a big screen role as Zani in the CBS drama Star Trek, Picard. Zani is part of a fierce all-female Romulan religious order, Kuat Malat. Amira Vaughn is beaming aboard the Patrick Stewart-led series. Worthy of mention is Vaughn's recurring role as an FBI special agent on the USA Network Limited series Unsolved, The Murder of Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G. Alfred Lewis Enoch, Wes Gibbons, and Christopher Castillo. Speaking of Hermione Granger, do you recall this Hogwarts student? The Brazilian biggest heartthrob did not fail to win hearts in his role as Wes Gibbons. Alfred Enoch keeps his private life as a secret and does not partake in social media. Fans of Alfred Enoch can catch a glimpse of the star in a Brazilian film, Medida Provisoria, Provisional Measure, with his father, William Russell. The film is directed by Lazaro Ramos, a renowned actor who found fame in soap operas. Alfred's next project, Foundation, will debut sometime in 2021. The science fiction series is based on Isaac Asimov's 1951 novel trilogy of the same title. Not to mention, the book series is one of the best sci-fi novels, inspiring an assortment of movies, games, comics, and TV series. The 10-episode show, Foundation, features a band of exiles on their monumental journey to save humanity and rebuild civilization amid the fall of the Galactic Empire. Viewers around the globe can stream the movie on the newly launched streaming service, Apple TV+. Plus, As you can imagine, we will be seeing more of the charming Brazilian actor. Jimmy Smith, Isaac Roa. Jimmy Smith is one of these superb actors who really caught our eye and not just because of his superb acting skills, but also his charm and bewitching smile. The character Isaac Roa is a prominent figure in Annalise's life, and there's no such thing as too much of him. Golden Globe winner Jimmy Smith will be Kevin Rosario, a hardworking businessman and Nina's father in the upcoming movie adaptation of his first Broadway show. In the Heights is set in Manhattan's Washington Heights neighborhood in New York City. The film centers on a bodega owner who is retiring to the Dominican Republic after inheriting his grandmother's fortune. The most anticipated film adaptation of Lin-Manuel Miranda's Broadway musical is directed by John M. Shu, scheduled to be released by Warner Brothers sometime in June 2021. Kerry Washington, Olivia Pope. After Kelly Washington's intriguing role in this legal thriller, the question that might be circling your mind is what is the next Kerry Washington project? Well, the good news is that we have a clear answer to that question 
Nation, with a list of upcoming Kerry Washington films and television shows scheduled to release shortly. We can only hope that the latest Kerry Washington movie will be as captivating as some of her recent ones. Kelly started in the exciting drama miniseries, Little Fires Everywhere. The story explores the weight of secrets and the ferocious pull of motherhood. Next up, you could look forward to seeing Kelly in The Prom, an upcoming comedy drama that is slated to be released on Netflix. Also, she features in 24-7, an upcoming comedy. Washington is sure to bring her best comic prowess to ensure that her performance stands out.